Whether it's head to head or head to body, concussions and its possible side effects are of major concern. That's why researchers here at the Stanford Bioengineering Department tested a foam cap to see if it would soften the blow. What they found was surprising. What this is going to show is what we would expect to be going on in a player's head when they sustain an impact on the field. Impact in three, two, one. Okay, so David, what was the motivation behind your study? As you know, concussions are a big concern in football. People are also concerned about something that we call subconcussive impacts. A concussion being when you see a doctor and they tell you that you've had a brain injury. Subconcussive is anything else. And when you talk about sub concussive impact. What kind of symptoms or conditions are you talking about? Well, there may be no symptoms at all. It can be totally asymptomatic. Some folks think of it kind of like uh, smoking a cigarette, something you do repetitively, you don't really notice the damage, and it accumulates over time. Of course, there are symptoms that, that can occur. Um, football players and others who knock their head sometimes report changes in vision, disorientation, things that may not be totally visible to somebody looking at you from the outside. So tell us why you conduct did this study? I mean, is it just the increasing number of concussions and subconcussive impacts? The reason that we conducted this study is because this new technology intended to increase the protection of helmets, but this particular one, the Guardian Cap, is becoming more utilized. And so we became uh, particularly interested to see is it making any difference? In the first part of this study, we tested the Guardian Cap in the laboratory. And there we did see a difference. It reduces the accelerations, uh, particularly the rotational accelerations of the head, so the head twisting. Uh, the second part of the studies we wanted to see is that actually happening in the field. An important caveat is this was not a study of concussion. It was a small study, so we were looking at subconcussive impacts. Just your average hit that you're getting on each play. And again, we were not able to detect a difference between the Guardian Cap use and not using that Was that technology. surprising though? It was surprising in the sense that there's a conflicting result between the laboratory and the field. The NFL has reported that they are seeing reductions in concussions from the Guardian Cap. So we hope that in our subconcussive study, we might see some differences as well, and we did not. There is a school of thought that the subconcussive impacts are the important ones in terms of the long-term chronic neurodegenerative diseases. So yes, I still hope that there are other technologies that may uh, make a bigger difference. And, and maybe there's, of course, alternatives, changing rules, et cetera, that have shown some benefit in the past.